So today I'm going to attempt to replace the timing on my Subaru SDI. So bear with me. We'll see how it goes. So here's the SDI. Here is the timing bulb kit. You got water pump, you got pulleys, thermostat. Always use an OEM thermostat. Got some coolant, got a little funnel. So I'm gonna set her up on this lift and get to it. So from what I watched, I'm going to have to remove all these accessories, coolant overflow tank, all this good stuff, and I'm going to drain the coolant and that guy. So I went ahead and removed all of this and now I'm going to remove the cover. So I'm going to set up the camera and get to work. See if you guys can see but this mark when you turn this uh, timing it should line up this mark see, to that mark then these double marks should line up see how they're off that's why you should repla replace your timing on the car this mark should line up to that mark and then there's another mark for the cover same on this side double marks get some light in there some double marks should line up that guy up there should line up to the cover this little notch in there I don't know if you can see it right in there so now I just have to get all the tensioners loose and go from there So, <coughs> I 
have the water pump right there, the old one, old thermostat. Got a new water pump, new gasket. Just gonna install it in there and show you how it looks. So the new water pump is in. I torqued down the screws or the bolts to nine foot pounds. There's one, one, two, three, four, five, six of them. The gasket's all in, everything's good. You'll put the hoses back on and uh, crump them down. I'll lower the car and start assembling the tensioners. So bear with me. So now, make sure all your marks are lined up. There is the dotted line right there. Dotted line right there. And then this line right there. Then the double marks. And this bad girl right here. And then you got another one up there, dotted lines again, and one more right here, the exhaust side. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there it is. So everything's lined up. I'm going to torque all the tensioners down. Here's one, two, three, and then the tensioner itself, four idler pulleys here's five all these uh, ask for 29 foot pounds and i think this one's 18. so i'll torque them down and go from there sorry my uh, sorry my gopro died but the cover's already installed everything's installed so now i need to put the fans back Put the coolant lines back and uh, get to work. So, I've got everything buttoned up, uh, I just need to put the intake on, but I'll do that later. But now, got the hoses, the top one, the bottom, got the cover all installed, got the belts put on, tension back on, fans are on, overflow is on. Um, then we left this open. And then this gizmo goes on here, it's a little funnel, opens it up, it's going to fill it up with coolant, and then start her up, and see what she does, see if she goes. 
Okay, here we go. Let's see, moment of truth. That's it. That's the timing. That's all the useless secondary air pump stuff. That's it. Just gotta close this up, put the power steering cap on, and that's it. She's all good to go.